Last summer, I raised a pumpkin a squash called North Georgia Candy Roaster. And I've got one of them here. And they make a, a fantastic pie. They make a fantastic um, pumpkin soup. Um, so the cucurbit maxima is, is the uh, variety. And I roast them down in the oven. And uh, I put them in freezer bags like this. And that's enough to make a couple of pies or uh, I could put it in my soup. Um, a lot of people use uh, butternut uh, squash in the same way. It's very, very similar. Um, I think butternut squash is a uh, cucurbit uh, machete, but I'm not, not exactly certain. Uh, it's the first time I've ever, ever grown these. Uh, the garden spot I put them in was brand new and ne never I had nothing there but weeds before. Um, but I was really impressed with uh, how them are. The, the, they taste really good. I also got some of them uh, uh, small pumpkins uh, from South Florida. I think they were called Cherokee Tan. And when you cut them open, the, the flesh was a little darker color. And, and, and the, uh, the, the, the smell was, was just, just uh, overwhelming. But they're kind of hard to grow. And these, uh, I had uh, probably four vines. And uh, I still have pumpkins. Um, I had about 50 pounds of these. Um, squirrels got one of them. Groundhogs got a couple others. But that's okay. But the vines was actually growing outside of my garden. They grow through the fence. And there was a couple of them where I tried to move them off the fence and actually broke them off. So, so I had to harvest them a few days early. But that happens. I, I'm just surprised at how well they did for something I've, I've never even tried before. I mean, I had no idea how to roast these things in the oven. And I come across uh, some recipe on the internet that, that showed me step by step how to do it. They gave me a recipe to make the pies. And it was just hard to imagine uh, taking something that looks like a zucchini and turning it uh, into some, something really good to eat. Uh, when I make this soup up in the crock pot, um, it gives me a boost of energy because of all the vitamins and stuff in, in this stuff. And, and it's my understanding that uh, these pumpkins uh, were from the Trail of Tears by uh, Cherokees throughout the Appalachian Mountains, which is kind of where I live. Um, and like I said, uh, they store for a long time. They, they claim they store for five months. I put them in a plastic tote and, and threw a moving blanket over the top to keep the sunlight off them. And uh, I've only had one go bad. And, and I check them every, every couple of weeks just to make sure there's not a problem. And uh, if there is one going bad, uh, I'll, I'll deal with it right then. But I'll roast three or four of these at a time. Uh, and then I just put them into bags. And uh, you can use them anytime you want. And once I get them processed into the freezer, then I'll have pumpkin all summer long. But uh, this is kind of a interesting for me and once you start making your own uh, uh, homemade pumpkin pie you, you'll leave that stuff in the cans in the store because it don't even taste the same um, thanks for watching